feel like, as far as communicating, I know there's hundreds of employees that you're changing command. If I've got a question, I can call Joe or I can talk to one of the heads. Uh, if I've had a question, they've answered it. Well, you may be talking about more of interdepartmental communication and things like that, as far as we receive information. I'm, I'm okay. I feel like I can get up on the phone and talk to this, this has nothing to do with us. Well, you're state. talking about yeah. interdepartmental I'm, communication, yeah. employees. I'm talking, yeah, about, rank, talking about rank and file up to management and back and forth. We had a lot of complaints that. about that, though. We had a lot of complaints from employees that the department heads aren't communicating to them or the supervisors aren't communicating. Or we, have you got any input on that? Yeah. That's, well, I haven't had any employees come to me about it. Look, you know, I'm, I'm not going to say they're all, they're all complaints. They're just saying, hey, you know, we we feel like we're left out here. We feel like we're left out there. We don't get this or we don't get that. And, and I know it's like Joe said. A lot of times you hear what you want to hear, and I fully understand that. But, it, again, it's kind of two different issues. We're talking about one's communication and one's kind of a quality of work life, work base sort of thing. Well, I, I don't want to. I, I don't want to say that it's not a short-term thing in a sense that we need to you know, move ahead so we'll be ready to do something. Because again, remember, short-term is something that we kind of want to have prepared and ready to go um, in early March, whenever we can get our our retreat scheduled. Um, I really believe that all of that, both of those subjects right there should be long-term goals. That should be something that you're working toward every day. Uh, it should be part of what you're trying to do, and that is good communication from all the way from the, from the bottom of the system all the way to the top of the system. Um, and any time that you get good ideas and figure out a way to do that, I think that uh, there's a lot of good ideas out there, and I think there's a good, good processes. Uh, there may be some web-based processes that's, that's available. Uh, some of the department head, heads may have gone to seminars where they've already got great ideas. I know that this is not the first time this has been discussed and Gus just said to you, it's always an issue. So I think that uh, HR would have a lot of input in it. So I think that from this standpoint, it's something we'll move to a broad brush, looking at it because it could, it could, it could ultimately end up being positive for the community and positive for the county and working up with staff. Joe, do you do 360 feedbacks? Is your, is your performance evaluation system, is it 360? Meaning that what it is, all you have to do is incorporate these things into that 360 feedback and then you would have an ongoing database from which to say we are, you know, we see, you can track trends with that. And, and Crawford and I were talking about I couldn't remember the term 360 feedback, he actually remembered it, but it's essentially where everyone gets an opportunity to review their supervisors. So supervisors are reviewing Subordinates and subordinates are kind of given an opportunity, a lot of times anonymously. I don't know if it's that way or not with us, but but I think that some of the things Crawford's talking about um, could be incorporated into those 360 feedbacks, and so you would always be able to track trends. So if, if, if right now we were sort of trending down with communication, but we're trending up in, um, you know, other things, well then we adjust to match those trends and to change those lines. Next year, it may be we're trending down somewhere else. So I think that would be kind of where you fix that because you, I mean, you never want to say, hey, we want to fix communication this year and then it'll be done. That's one of those things you kind of always have to sharpen the saw. So maybe that's a way to address that. That's good. Okay, so the consensus is, is that yes, it's a good idea, but the consensus is a good idea. That understanding that it's a broad brush item and something we want to work on, and it would be not only let's just say short term and long term. We're going to, we're going to constantly keep that in the front of us and uh, make that one of the things we want to look at. Okay. All right.